I'm Sarah Fatima. I'm Poppy Sayer. I'm Rhys Nelson. I'm Alicia Pocock. I'm Sam Tilly. I'm Ness Jenkins. This week is our last ever week of production days here at CJS News. So we thought we'd take the chance to look back and reflect on the year we've just had. Based here at 2 Central Square in Cardiff, our students have had the chance to learn all kinds of broadcasting skills, from producing Facebook Lives, to creating TV packages and radio shows. We've reported live, on location, from home, and in the newsroom. You know what we completely forgot to do? Anything for social right. So, with that in mind, I asked the broadcast CJS students how they found this year. I would say it's been amazing. I've learned a lot and I've gained so many new skills and developed so much as a person. I feel that I've learned so many skills over these past few months. Definitely, I've learned how to uh, stick to deadlines, how to deal with high levels of stress and how to work in a team as well. Those skills have definitely improved and I really have enjoyed. Uh, a lot of work, but very educational. Exciting, but exhausting. Such a challenge, but it's been amazing as well. Um, it's definitely the busiest year I've ever had. So how would you describe it in one word? Whirlwind. <laughs> Whirlwind. Awesome. Mental. <laughs> What's been your best experience? Um, it was probably the day that we we went out to film the velodrome story I don't know if you remember that one um where we kind of set out at the start of the day thinking oh well it's going to take us like three days to do this because we've got to go to a school and then a velodrome and then we've got to talk to cyclists and then we've got to talk to teachers and then we've got to talk to a counselor and we turned up and the velodrome was literally right next to the school as in like five meters away um and then the teachers came out at lunch to ask us what we were doing and offered to be interviewed uh, and the councillor showed up by lunchtime. So it all came together along with the cyclist. I definitely think it's been the Facebook Lives, which is an interesting thing, because I never expected to be able to produce. I always thought I'd be an on-screen person, but I do enjoy putting things together behind the scenes. I also enjoy putting together long-form programming because I find it's the most, most honest way to get good journalism. I would say actually the election special that we did was one of my favorites and uh, our Facebook Live with Group M. <laughs> I really enjoyed presenting and I really enjoyed finding original stories and going and reporting and interviewing people. Um, I really enjoyed that. So what's been the biggest thing you've learned on this course? Oh, that's, that's a difficult one. To have a little more confidence in my abilities. It's, it's definitely been learning to experiment, I think, because I, I've always felt that if you're constrained, you can't do different things, but being able to experiment and try new things, even if you know that you can fail, it's quite a healing environment here at CJS, which means that you do it. And even if it goes wrong, you know that it's not gonna affect anyone and you can just go again and try something new. To have a bit of confidence and uh, realize that, you know, um, it's not the scariest thing in the world. You've just got to sometimes go for it. Time management. Uh, I had no time management before I came onto this course. I do now. Um, so that's probably the biggest learning for me. What advice would you give your past self when you were first starting the course? Um, you need to buy a new suit. That one you bought two years ago doesn't fit anymore. You're not in that good shape. <laughs> Pick up the phone more <laughs> and um, enjoy it because it's over so quickly. Don't get too stressed before those production days. The 24 hours before a production day, you panic because you don't have a story, but things will always work out in the end because teamwork, when you all put your heads together, things just seem to work out on the day. Um, so just don't panic so much. And what would you say to future students who are about to start here themselves? Um, I would say be in for a long haul because it's not easy. Um, but if you stick with the course, if you stick with the experience, you will come out trained in a, in a way that will, at least even if you don't want to be a journalist staff or if you want to do something else or whatever it is, you'll come out with skills that will serve you so well and confidence in your own abilities, which I think is very important in today's age. But just, just enjoy it. It's so much fun meeting all these different people, um, going out and filming with them. You make some great memories and it's really funny at times. Um, but yeah, just throw yourself into it and you'll get the best out of it. 
Uh, this course is not for the faint-hearted. Um, it really is intense. You will lose sleep, but not to put you off. It's fantastic because you learn so many skills in such a short space of time. Um, but give it your all. And yeah, it is one of the best things that I've ever done in my life. Uh, watch lots of news, watch lots and lots of news and accept the fact that the rest of your family and all of your friends are going to refuse to watch new news programmes with you anymore because you're just going to be sat there criticising the whole thing. Snacks are the only way to get through a production day and um, enjoy the pub because you never know when a pandemic's going to come around. <laughs> This year, students were faced with the challenge of completing their masters during the global pandemic. Yeah, Course director no, Sally no, Collins no, tells us no, how she no, thinks no, the students no, have coped no, with no, the changes no. that COVID has caused. I think it's been a real challenge this year and I'm absolutely amazed by how well this year has coped with all the challenges and all the restrictions that COVID has brought in its wake. Um, all the things that we that all production teams in the past would have taken for granted about running around Cardiff with cameras and things, all of those things have, have had to be put on hold. But we've managed to produce, and the team has managed to produce, really excellent TV programmes, working around, finding ways around it, innovative ways of working, and I've just been amazed by how much we've managed to achieve. And it's been a very busy year, so what are you going to do when this year is all over? When this year is all over, I'm hoping to have at least a couple of days uh, or a couple of weeks where I can put my feet up. But uh, I've got next year's lot coming, so my thoughts are already uh, looking ahead to September and October and seeing what new things we've learned from this year that we can put into place for next year. And um, what do you think some of those new things could be? I think things like new initiatives like the Facebook Live that all the students really enjoy doing this year. We used to do that on an ad hoc basis. Uh, we did that as a, as a specific thing uh, this year, which was really good and students found that very uh, enjoyable. I think the other area is perhaps um, the ability when, because Zoom is so easy, we have access to people and places that we didn't have before. So I think that's something that we really need to think about how best to use that in the future. With this year's course almost over, all we can do is enjoy the production days we have left and look forward to taking the skills that we've learned along the way into jobs in the workplace. That's all from us. Remember you can follow all our stories on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Find us at Broadcast CGS. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.